What's up everybody, I am Jaspreet Singh and welcome to the Minority Mindset and welcome back to Make It Happen Monday. Nobody likes losing money, but right now, Warren Buffett, one of the most successful investors of all time, is losing six million dollars a day on purpose. In 2019, the stock market pretty much shot up. So for all of you that were invested in the market in 2019, or really at all in the last decade, congratulations because you've probably seen some very good returns over the last year and last decade. Warren Buffett made his billions by being a patient investor. He would wait for a company to start having problems, and then when they were cheap and needed help, he would come in and buy a big piece of the company, and then he would wait for the company to turn around, and then years later, when the company was worth many times more than what he bought it, he would sell his shares in the company, and that's how he made tons and tons of money. Well, right now, we are in the longest bull market in the history of time. A bull market is a market that is going up, and and since 2008, 2009, the market has pretty much shot up straight. So about a decade or so. This is the longest bull market ever that we've ever seen in recorded history. And you know the saying, buy low, sell high. Well, Warren Buffett thinks that businesses and companies are valued way too high right now. So he's not buying. So check out this Business Insider article. It says Warren Buffett's company is sitting on $122 billion in cash, which could be a bad sign. So right here it says that this $122 billion is the most that this company, Berkshire Hathaway, which is his company, has ever held, and they actually sold more investments than they bought in the first half of 2019. So most people, if they had $122 billion in cash, or half of that, or even 1% of that, or even 0.001% of that, they would be very, very, very happy. I mean, what is it? Like 40% of Americans don't have $400 saved up in cash to cover an emergency without going into debt. But Warren Buffett clearly does not think like the majority of people because he is not happy that he has so much cash. One of the things that made Warren Buffett such a successful investor, besides being able to find the right companies and take the risk to invest in them and be patient and hold on to them for the right amount of time, is that he always kept cash on him. This way, if something bad happened, he didn't have to go into debt or he didn't have to really make rash decisions. And he also had money to pounce on opportunities when they came his way. Well, if you look at this article from Motley Fool, this is back in early 2019 when Warren Buffett only had $122 billion in his account. He says that the magic number is $20 billion. That's how much money he likes to have in his account at all times because that gives him enough money to cover emergencies and it gives him cash to take advantage of opportunities that come his way. I say that you need to keep at least six months worth of expenses in your savings account for your personal expenses. This way you never have to worry about going into debt when an emergency happens. But $20 billion sounds pretty good too. But the reason why Warren Buffett is not happy is because if you look in this article, he said cash does not make us happy, which I think the majority of people would definitely disagree with. But Warren Buffett hates holding on to too much cash because inflation is eating away at his money. So if we lowball it and say inflation is just 2% a year, that means his $122 billion of cash is losing something around two and a half billion dollars worth of value or buying power each and every year. That's like six and a half million dollars worth of value every single day. Could you imagine if you were losing six million dollars worth of value a day? Sure, maybe losing six million dollars a day isn't a big deal when you're Warren Buffett, but there's definitely something very important to learn from this because still money is dead money. And Warren Buffett is one of the most successful investors of all time. So clearly, if he is choosing not to use his money, we can learn something here, and there are two potential reasons why Warren Buffett would not be using his money right now. One, he either thinks the market is going to come down and he doesn't want to buy right at a peak, or two, he thinks businesses are too expensive and there are no good deals in the market. 
Cash itself is a liability. It just loses value. So if you're hoarding a bunch of cash, you are losing value to inflation each and every day and you're slowly becoming broker. But you can turn your cash into an asset, which is something that makes you money if you use your cash to buy something that will make you more money. So Warren Buffett uses his cash to buy businesses because now he owns a little piece of a bunch of different businesses that are out making money and making him money because he owns a little a bit of many different businesses. So as these businesses make more profits, so does Warren Buffett and he doesn't actually have to go out and do the work in these businesses. He's just one of the owners of the businesses. So he wants to take this liability and convert it to an asset but he doesn't want to invest unless it's a great opportunity. Warren Buffett has said before that you should never chase a stock and that's exactly what he's doing right now. He doesn't think that this is a great time to find great deals because that's what he likes to invest in. He says here that as an entrepreneur, it's tempting to ride the wave, uh, but in reality, every big wave eventually crashes into the shore. So he's kind of riding it out, trying to see what exactly is going on, and he's waiting for a big opportunity to come his way before he starts actually using his money, and he's willing to lose money or value in the meantime. The funny thing is right now, a lot of people are out there talking about how Warren Buffett has lost his touch and he doesn't know what he's talking about and he's too old and he's dried up and he's no longer what he used to be essentially. But this isn't the first time that Warren Buffett has sat on the sidelines when people were making a ton of money uh, very quickly in the market. And this isn't the first time that he's heard that type of criticism. Back during the 2000-2001 dot-com boom, Warren Buffett did the exact same thing. If you take a look at this, this black line represents the NASDAQ. The red line represents Warren Buffett's company, Berkshire Hathaway. So right around here in uh, 2000 or so, this is when people started getting really excited about dot-com companies. Essentially, if you were a company with the word dot-com at the end of it, you were thought to be successful no matter what you did. And so people got really excited about the idea of the internet and making all this money. And you can see exactly what happened in the stock market. I mean, the stock market boomed in 2000. Well, Warren Buffett at that time stayed on the sidelines. He was like, I don't really understand this. The fundamentals don't make any sense. So he didn't invest and he ended up losing a lot of money. You can see this red line going straight down. Well, about another year later, when reality hit, the stock market or, you know, all these dot-com companies crashed because people realized that these companies were worth millions and millions and sometimes billions of dollars with really no underlying fundamentals or profits or anything. And this came down to reality and then Warren Buffett ended up back on top because he stuck with his plan and his system of investing in companies with strong fundamentals for the long term. So now the million dollar question or I guess the $122 billion question. Is Warren Buffett right? Well, I guess only time will tell. The market has gone up for a long time. It's gone pretty much straight up, but nothing can go up forever. The question is when? When will we see this correction? Is it worth it to sit out or should you still be buying right now? You know, Warren Buffett is good at what he does. Otherwise, he wouldn't be where he is today. So, you know, it's something to pay attention to. The key is you need to pay attention to what's happening in the world and you need to make sure that your company has strong fundamentals. There's a lot of companies that we saw in 2019, especially the IPOs, all these multi, multi, multi billion dollar companies that hit the market that had these crazy valuations with no profits. And then towards the end of 2019, reality started to hit and a lot of these companies saw losses of 50% of their value in months because people realize that they were way overvalued. So if you are going to be investing, just make sure that you are crunching the numbers and make sure that your investments make sense, which is why it's so important for you to stay on top of what's happening in the finance and business world. And if you're wondering, just breathe, how can I do that? Well, that's why we created the free Minority Mindset Newsletter, where we first break down the top finance and business news, and then we show you how the news affects your wallet. This way you can be money smart. Our newsletter is completely free, and you can subscribe to our finance and business newsletter by clicking the link up here or by clicking the link in the description below. Now, before you, I let you go, I want to hear from you. What do you think about the strategy of losing $6 million a day worth of value? Do you agree with it or you disagree with it? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really interested to see what you think and as always, keep hustling!